Welcome to Jesse's Shed on Tour. Sometimes I feel like Doctor Who. Not because I'm in little blue blocks and appear places, but what it is, is I've got the magical editing software now, so I'm going to tell you something that I did yesterday, and it's at the beginning of the video. So there we go, grouting. Dowels that were on the uh, bridge before. How do we do it? Chem chemical anchor. There you go. Enjoy. Alright then. Now, we've done the coping stones here on the bridge. Okay, now, obviously to protect them they need, um, they need dowling. So to do that, what we've got, we've got these, we've had these made up because they match the uh, sort of original. We've got rebar welded with a bar on top like that. Um, it matches what was originally there. You can see the detail of how there's uh, channels here that have been notched in the stones originally and then holes down. So we're, we're, the ones we've replaced now, the, the coping stones we've put on, you can see, um, where a car had crashed in. So um, I've drilled out, I've taken them out to the depth then. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to clean out all the dust with that. I've got a uh, Milwaukee vacuum, I'll have a go with that first. I'll blow away the dust and then I'll come back, uh, I'll blow air in to get more dust out and brush it and then blow it again and then we put a chemical anchor in with this but I might have to also chip a little bit of detail like we had over here where I just showed you have to chip a detail like that so we can recess them there we are we'll see how that goes okay so this is a great bit of kit it's a cordless like battery Milwaukee M18 battery it's a vacuum it sucks it blows it can if you take the filter off it can suck up water so it's really useful on site for lots of little tasks um, so at the minute it's ready for suck, I'm going to put it on blow. Hang on. Undo that here. Well, I can't do it while I'm holding the camera, you'll have to wait. Pop it in the side here. Where, there we are. And then lock. There we go, twist it in. Ready for action. Before I get too carried away, I better um, chisel a detail, a recess for the um, for the dowel set to sit in below the surface, and then I'll vacuum out and brush out and show you the detail. Okay, it doesn't match quite the original workmanship, but I'm pretty pleased with that. A little a little um, channel chiselled in there for that. Uh, what I'm going to do next is, uh, you see, the purpose of these dowels is, you see, that's still dirty in there. Well, when they're on top and the uh, if, if a car strikes or anything then these will hold hold the thing together sort of gives it more strength holding although it's still going into a masonry wall below it means all the um, coping stones are tied together but as you see it's even though I've drilled it out it's still so I'm going to stick a brush in and look how much is still in there even though it's all been blown and I'll have to suck it again and sort that out so we can get a chemical anchored fix in there. Okay, so I've been laboriously going over, brushing, vacuuming, blowing, cleaning out holes to get rid of any um, uh, silt or something that's going to stick on the sides and prevent a good bond when we stick in the chemical anchor. I'll show you it now. Okay, so it comes with, uh, it's a two part material. But it comes in, uh, uh, luckily this one fits in a normal grout gun. Ooh, someone's break. So what we have here, we have a spiral, spiral nozzle. So what that does is it mixes the two parts and then when, once they uh, are mixed, that's going to go off in a certain amount of time. Now, when we load it up, we don't want to put too much in because we've got to take accommodation. In fact, that we're going to put in, um, going to then push in our, our dowels. There we are. Okay, so you can see as I start pumping it in, the two are going to mix together. Yeah, they've got an even color now. There was, there was a cream one and a black one, and then they come together. 
Now I don't want to load too much into the hole. I know it's a big hole, but as soon as I start pumping in, it's gonna push out. So I'm gonna load that much for now. I'll move on to the next hole and then I'll top it up as I go. You get nothing to stand there, that's it. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put a bit more around there just to make sure I've got some as I go. I've got to drive it in then to make sure it sits in. I don't want too much around the top. Oh, of course it's gone very tight now. Not that it's set, it's just because it's a difficult, difficult thing. There we are. I'll just bring that up the grout up to the top. So you don't get water sitting in there. You might have to get a bit of tissue just to tidy that up. Okay, so that hole's filled. That's it, and I'll just tidy that off now. There we are, this one. I'll come back and tidy that. I've got to go mm -hmm. the others now. I'd love to tell you how easy it is, but um, unfortunately, because of the nature of these dowels with the uh, extended tops, and then because some have to be bent to fit over the coping stone here. It's been uh, quite a job getting the holes because they have to be slightly enlarged at the top and everything to be able to accommodate the additional thing, which makes it all a little bit less um, easy. But uh, you get the principle of the uh, chemical fix. It goes off in quite quite a quick time. You see, there's what we yeah, we did earlier. Then I've wiped it over. Um, ties in with the original. You see. There we are, so hopefully if a vehicle hits, hits this now, it holds it all together a bit more. Ta-da! And here I am back in Jez's shed. Thanks for watching, see you next time.